He's Tom, and I'm Ming, and we solve Rubik's Cubes really fast. So that means that we'll solve all the world's problems. But we'll use solutions that are unconventional. We never saw coming. Because we are, we are the Solve Guys. Uh, and that's why we don't use that recording every time. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> You're watching the Solve Guys. You're listening to the Solve Guys. You are experiencing One the, other. the Solve Guys. Welcome back to the show. We are solving today a problem that has existed for as long as there have been more than one <laughs> offspring emerging from the womb. Anywhere without a one-child policy, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> we are solving the problem of annoying siblings. In can't live with today. them. Can't live without them. You can live without them. I mean, true. <laughs> At some point, but you know, there's a, a time period where sometimes yes. you have to live with someone. Oh my goodness! Sometimes you have to be with someone you don't want to be with. Now we both have firsthand uh, experience with this because we have both have siblings. Yep. Yep. Uh, I will say that I have a lot of examples of annoying sibling stories on my part. My sister has no idea what it's like to live with an annoying sibling. <laughs> I asked and she was just like, well, you're the best brother the world oh. has ever seen. And so, you know, I'm sorry, but hey, don't, don't mute my mic. You're such an angel, are you? Is that so? <laughs> yeah. I highly doubt that for some reason. But I will, I, I don't know if, if my dad's listening, but can I actually tell you one thing my dad did when he was young? He used to turn off all the lights at home so that his younger sister would have to walk him down this hallway <laughs> in completely in like the darkness, right? And then when she got there, instead of finding the light switch, she would like touch his hand because his hand would be over the switch the whole time. <laughs> That's so just scary. Just to give it this like epic jump, jump scare. That is so mean. Yeah, she, she told us that story and he was just like, I, I don't remember doing that. Like, yeah, of course you wouldn't remember doing that, but your traumatized sister would. That's An classic. Annoying siblings. Oh my goodness. I remember my older brothers would like anything that we watched, you know, they mm. would like, they would bring the most scariest story or version <laughs> of it and tell me that like right before I go to bed and you're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> just having constant nightmares. It's what siblings are for, right? It's what it's they're what for. they're for. Yeah, it's just practicing. You know, you're 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 like dominating and just like controlling people. Why not? Why not practice that on your little siblings before you go into yeah? You're before you go into the skills. real cold, hard world out there. That's yeah. exactly right. It is a problem, and we are the solve guys. So we are gonna solve it today. Here we go. Oh, hey! Before we get into it, I have to acknowledge the amount of just fan love and appreciation that has come from everyone in Team Ming because of the fact that I obliterated you in that last episode. Do you remember that, Tom? I'm not sure which one How you're referring to. How beautiful was that? Uh, <laughs> that's going to happen again at the end of this episode, but with a bit of a twist. So stay tuned for that. Tom and I are going to go head to head in a different puzzle. Now that I have shown him how dominating I uh, look I feel like the annoying sibling now you I'm are like, <laughs> but that's coming up thank you for everyone who believed in me don't worry that it's your your trust is not misplaced I haven't seen enough love if anyone can cheer me up and <laughs> be team Tom be. in the comments we I'm need begging more you. team Tom in the comments I must say uh but solvebot 3000 is here to help us um Find, figure out who gives the best solution today. Let, let's check in with her to see um, see how she's Hi, going. Hi, Ming and Tom. SolveBot3000 hey. is back and ready to adjudicate. I'm glad I don't have siblings to deal with, but then again, if I did, I'd probably just destroy them to get my way. Things work differently <laughs> in the what? robot world. Uh, if I didn't enough. know any better, oh. I'd say that you guys are the perfect example of sibling conflict. You both say you hate each other, but you clearly love each other too. Hey, hey. Anyway, Catch you later. That's creepy. Well, there's a prime example of robots not understanding no, human no. emotions. There's very little love. And age. What? What? Nothing. I can be your brother. I'm not that old. You're like my, more like my granddad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... No, our, our parents just were, you know, had I, I a lot of kids in between us two. I should that's be all. caring for you. I could be the one changing your diaper in your old age. Oh my goodness. That's, that's some sibling <laughs> rivalry right there. Uh, today's special episode came from, the problem came from a listener uh, called Kiran. So thank you for emailing us about that. 
Karen obviously um, <laughs> maybe has, maybe Karen's asking for a friend who has problems with annoying siblings. Yeah. Uh, but uh, my research for this was super fun. I just typed <laughs> into Google, what are some of the most annoying things? And what that, that brought back all the up. memories of stuff you it did. Was, is that it was, was fantastic. Uh, so I have, I have a bunch of stories um, to share with you. You can, you, you have, you've, you've got some as well. So here's one. Um, someone wrote, when I was about 11, my nine-year-old brother took my coin collection and went to the convenience store and bought a Coke and some candy. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> that's, that's like... That's so annoying. Uh, I, I don't know if you're the type who would have a coin collection. I had a coin collection. No. That's great because I'm cool. Are like, they really like worth that. that much though? I mean, no. Like but, the, but they're there's cool. like a 20% increase on their value, no, no, right? It's... You didn't lose that much. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. True. They're still, they're your little they babies mean that someone Yeah, took. and to think that yeah. it just went into buying a can of Coke. <laughs> so bad. Um, <laughs> there's another one someone else said, we would stay up late and watch WWF, which is now WWE. Uh, and then my brother would proceed to try out all the moves on me, <laughs> his, his sister. A choke slam, clothesline, the Texas cloverleaf, you name it, he did it. Jeez. That's what siblings are for. That's what little sisters Just are for. Just pure violence. <laughs> for you to test out your wrestling moves. I don't ask my sister about that. It's all, it's all, all I want to say. I did stuff like that um, with my sister, but she was quite a bigger than me so yeah, i could just like which jump is older on her than you, yeah. and like try and beat her up and had no chance because she no. was older it, it toughens you so, up yeah i mean look at the big tough guy you are now it wouldn't couldn't be like this without my big <laughs> tough sister <laughs> that's no way that that would have happened uh this is one i really like uh someone wrote when i was about five my older sister and i were out in the rain but i got my boots stuck in deep mud and couldn't move after unsuccessfully trying to pull me out my sister walked home to get help I waited in the rain for an hour and no one came. So I pulled my feet out of the boots, walked home barefoot. When I got home, I found my sister watching TV. She had forgotten about me. <laughs> she totally forgotten. That's that so sounds like a you issue though. Like you could just pull your feet out of the boots. You're, Why didn't you I mean, do that sooner? Right. And There's, then pull the boots out with your hands. The whole time they could have just done that. That's right. Kids are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I duct taped socks to my sister's hands and rubbed Vaseline on the door handle of her room, imprisoning her there for hours. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of putting them in a straight jacket, like yeah. in a mental <laughs> asylum. Right. It just How do you even come up with these ideas? Just duck to, and the socks are on both hands and you can't even free yourself. It's like, no, forget locking a door. <laughs> it's like, you can't move. That's so good. My brother once sprayed deodorant in my eyes after I got annoyed at him for deleting a hundred hours of Pokemon Blue. Wait, so they? Whoa, whoa. they. That's too far, though. That feels deserved. You deserve the deodorant, but yeah, I think nah. it was also the other way around. Yeah. Wow. I mean, well, deleting over one hundred hours of Pokemon Blue. That's that's. Really I think they got off easy with just you. I, I would have done more than that. My brother would have, <laughs> like, put, yeah, put me in solitary confinement for a week. <laughs> do you do you have any uh, any more fun stories of um, being uh, the annoying sibling? I mean, if if you you were the little brother, I think I was the annoying little brother. I can imagine whiny little Tom, like, hey, hey guys, you want to play with me? Hey, why do you want to play with me? I was, hey, I was, stop, uh, stop it. Equally annoying to both my older brothers. And one of them, like, put up with it, you know, like, mm -hmm. loved me and let me punch him and stuff. And then the other one, like, just, like, told me, you know, I knew straight away not to <laughs> mess with him. Because, yeah. like, one time, oh, man, I must have only been, like, six or something. I was, like, pretending to push him in the pool. And he just, like, picked me up and, like, <laughs> body slammed me into the pool. <laughs> I could, like, barely swim. Oh I was goodness. fine. But, um, no, I had lots of funny, rough stories. I remember one time... <laughs> oh. One of my brothers came out wearing the other's underwear, like <laughs> by mistake, and it got switched. And they must have been fighting already about something. And they were so heated, like over, over uh, wearing like each other's underwear. underwear. Yeah, they like <laughs> almost got in a fist fight because it's like so intense. Like right in the kitchen, and the, everyone's like, "Well, chill out." It's like that's mine. So I didn't know. There could be some backstory yeah. there. Maybe the underwear came from you know, like. Your brother won it 
yeah. first place in some prize or something. <laughs> it was probably or... his, it must have been his favorite underwear. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that means. Who doesn't have favorite underwear? I I mean, I, I read some of these stories and I find myself in there a, a little bit. Oh, what would my sister say? Does my sister listen to this podcast? I don't, I don't think she does. If if you are listening, then hi. I, I love you. I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm pretty sure I used to like take her Barbies and I don't know, put them in weird situations with my, like my toys. Usually like they would die or they, <laughs> their heads would get taken off or something. I, I, I needed toys that could just be like cannon fodder. So you you're know? the kid that made needed- like the messed up Barbies in the Barbie movie. <laughs> like that <laughs> weird one, that was yeah. your doing. I was Sid in Toy Story. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sid. That. Yeah. That's right. Nah, I'm Andy. Was, I'm definitely Andy. But my 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 sister though, like she had a a super weapon, a superpower, which was that if she just wasn't happy about anything, she could just like turn on turn on the waterworks. Like she could just cry uh, like that, get the parents' and attention. Then instantly, yeah. it's it's my fault. Yeah, that's her power. She'll deny it, Man. but that was her power. So because she was a younger sister, like who were you know my parents going to blame me? Obviously. Because she's crying. If we were both fighting, even if she started it, she just needs to cry. And then I'm well, the one. To that's blame. like a whole nother world gone past when you used to hmm. see who could lie better <laughs> and b- put in the blame on the other person. <laughs> well, well, someone wrote um, online that they confessed that they actually were the evil sibling oh. <laughs> instead of being the one uh, that were, you know was bullied. So things I did, they they wrote included. I slapped myself and left a mark to tell my parents my brother did it so he'd have to go to his room. I went a full week pretending that I couldn't see him anymore. He cried. I wrote my first initial on anything of his that I wanted. Claim my parents did it because they they were mine now. <laughs> when my brother was small enough to be to still have to be in a car seat, he did something to his neck and had to wear a neck brace so I would point to things outside the car window that were <laughs> there because he couldn't turn his head to see it. <laughs> That's absurd. But somehow, That's she crazy. writes, after all this, we've grown up to have a pretty great relationship. So there uh, you go. Maybe it's fine. Maybe this isn't a problem. It's all just water under the <laughs> Solve Guys bridge. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, look, the reason I think why siblings get so annoying is because... You're with them all the time when yeah. you're growing up. You just can't escape them. And because you spend so much time together, they know your buttons. They know exactly which buttons to push and they push them. Even just to try it out, to see what happens, you know? It's a big red button that's lighting up that says, do not push. But you're like, hmm, I don't know. And you have like every day with them to figure out what is <laughs> yeah. the biggest button. To what's get really the, good at, at your craft. To really good at yeah. to practice. Annoying yeah, them right. and... Yeah. Also, it works. Like, you know, when my sister cried, she got the outcome that she wanted. Like, it's yeah. very effective. If you annoy, if you manipulate, you get what you want. And then you've got that, you know, reward yeah. to encourage that behavior e- even more. Uh, and, I, you know, look, don't want to throw the parents under the bus here. But I think sometimes parents make things worse <laughs> when it comes to, like, you know, an- annoying siblings. Like, sometimes they'll take sides. Or they might not believe like one yeah. party, or, or yeah. they'll be like, "Oh, can you just can you guys just sort this out yourselves?" And then like that just enables the bully to bully more, right? Bully. Yep. So I think sometimes I don't know. Not giving any parenting advice. I'm not a parent, but um, I th- can see how it would be easy to mm. to with all the stress of parenting and doing everything on top of that, you have to try and be the intermediary and yeah. break up all their fights. It, it, it's a tricky thing Dude, to do. I'm yeah. a parent and I don't want to give parenting advice. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's just not me. we have got to leave it to the experts. And we're not going to solve parenting today. We're going to solve the problem of annoying siblings. Uh, and, you know, I, we also do want to say uh, that some behavior, I think, goes beyond teasing or being annoying. So, you know, if you have experienced, you know, abuse of any sort, then again, this is stuff that you're going to want to report. You know, for your good and for your siblings' good as well, either to, you know, parents or to higher up authorities, because yep. it's not okay for siblings to be breaking the law, right? There's, there, there is a line no. there. So on the record, we, we do, do want to say that. But otherwise, if you've ever experienced an annoying sibling, if you still experience that, this is the podcast for you. Woo! 
next up on the Smooth Jazz Channel is Ming Doubting with his solution for the soul, guys. Ooh, need to tune that one. It's jazz indeed. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's right. If it's a wrong note, it's jazz. There are no wrong notes. Matt, do I have a solution <laughs> for you today? I'm going to get rid of that annoying sibling once and for all. Sorry, not get rid of them. We're just Whoa, gonna, we're calm gonna, down. We're going to figure out a way to deal with it. In a nutshell, my solution for your annoying sibling is using the power of behavioral psychology. I hope so. It's, it's using is the it power, power of... It, there is power. It's using the power of conditioning. So in short, <laughs> what you want to do is reward good behavior and punish bad behavior. Mic drop. Like training a dog or what is <laughs> That's this? Right. That's how you're like framing Pavlov's it. Belt. Pavlov's <laughs> yeah. conditioning. So is this what we're talking about? about? Hey, 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 no, good no, 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 Good no. sibling, 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 good sibling, hey, sibling, hey, sibling. For, for my psych listeners out there, we're actually doing opera and conditioning. This is for my, my good man, B.F. Skinner, not, not uh, Pavlov. Not Pavlov. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's Fair right. Enough. So, okay. Step number one, you need to find out what your, what your sibling's currency is. <sighs> what, what gets the gears turning? You know, what greases the wheels? What's the language? Everybody has a price. Everyone has a price. Maybe it's chocolate. Maybe it's quality time. Gotta make them an offer they can't refuse. <laughs> Maybe it's helping out with something. Maybe it's positive words. Maybe it's something that you have that they wish they had. Mm. Maybe it's cold hard cash. You know? <laughs> Maybe it's money. I yeah, bribes. Not, I, yeah. I'm not a, you know, above using money for, to bribe literally a sibling. Makes you want to find out what your sibling doesn't like. Yeah. So it could be like maybe I don't know, your smelly socks that you leave around the house. Violence. Or, <laughs> no. Well, most people it's violence. Maybe it's uh, your loud music that you play. Maybe it's having to ask mom and dad for something. You know, it's just a bit hard for them to ask for something. Maybe it's chores. Shout out to our episode with the goat, Felix. Yep. If you haven't listened to that one yet, that will actually change your life. Uh, and, and that's a common one, right? Having to do the dishes, take out the trash. Like no one likes that. Yeah. Your siblings don't like that. Now that you know that, you're going to put it into practice. But how can you as a sibling how, force how them to do no, chores? No, 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 no. Okay, I'll let so, you go. Step one. Uh, I mean, question one that you want to ask yourself, how can you reward good behavior? Okay. Right. So there's something to do. How, how can you reward it so that we can encourage and see more of it? There are two ways we can reward good behavior. One, give them something they want. Or two, take away something that they don't want. Examples. If your sibling does something oh, okay. nice to you, don't just be like, that's weird. And then, you know, you just go on like, why are they being, being nice? Reinforce it. So just casually, you know, just offer them some lollies. <laughs> just like, oh, thanks for like, that. Have- here, kitty. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, just like, you know, give them some lollies. Maybe, maybe praise them. And then about- they learn every time they do something good they get a lolly you're that's, on my way that's, that's, that's conditioning yeah. i mean okay you don't want to associate it so closely that you <laughs> always have to feed them lollies like, I feel like t- training a seal or something and you've always got fish in a bucket that you're like ready <laughs> hey, to that's what them. i did with my brother <laughs> you ring a bell and give them some a raw it's, sardine it's amazing. or maybe you could you know let them use something of yours that you normally yeah, don't true. right now they might then think hmm, that's weird but subconsciously their brain is starting to form connections between being nice to you and getting good things. See? And it's a subconscious thing, but they're starting to associate like, huh, hmm, yeah. Alternatively, instead of giving something- Maybe I will be nice. <laughs> Alternatively, instead of giving them something nice, you could take something bad away. So you could offer to wash the dishes them that uh, night. Oh, okay, I see. You could maybe not play your super loud music, you know, just for a short period of time. Basically make their life less bad, you know, in, yep. in some way. Don't have to be obvious about it. Like, oh, hey, since you did this, I'm going to do this. It's just if they did something, then just pair it with something nice. Yep. And then you're going to train them like a little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> it works with animals. You wave a red flag every time you do this. <laughs> That's right. I mean, can you see any problems with this? It's foolproof, right? Um... <laughs> He's no, besides like the other sibling, as soon as they find out what you're doing, they're just going to game <laughs> it and like pretend to be nice so that they keep getting rewarded, right? Oh, true. That's like the kid who like 
knows that there's no Santa Claus, yeah. but continues <laughs> just going with it because they get a they get extra presents and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. But hey, it still keeps the peace. Exactly. You're still there's getting what wrong you want. Pretending to be nice. That I have to do that to you every time we record an episode. <laughs> this whole time I've been conditioning Tom. He, he, he doesn't know it. But I've been... When I, when I hear the bell, it's time yeah. to record the podcast. Yeah. It's like, whatever you want, Ming. Yes. Whatever you want. Yes. And Solve, look, guys. Yes. Also, I think this, there's room for you actually being blatant and blatantly obvious about it. So you could actually just strike a deal with them. And yeah, say, no, you know, okay, look, I if you don't barge into my my room for the, the for this weekend, I'll give you a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that might a speak. dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you know, dollars everything depending on their age and you know what, how much money is available to them. A dollar could be you know make or break. That could be what they need. Yeah, and That's for you, that may not be much. A small loan of one dollar. <laughs> no, it's not a loan because you are actually using it. <laughs> hey, but here, you know. This subtle conditioning using psychology, it's powerful, my friend. It is powerful. Okay. There you go. Do we need to take into account any of the ethics of <laughs> no, no? Because it doesn't no sound like no, you're doing. This. You're trying to be nicer to them or actually muster any relationship. That's like, how can I manipulate them <laughs> okay. to if do you, exactly what I want? If you're getting to that level where you're like programming secret like code words into them, where you're going to like sleeper agent, like ac activate them <laughs> with the right numbers or something for them to suddenly just like Zoolander, <laughs> Zoolander, kill the president of Malaysia. <laughs> That's right. Like, okay, there could be some ethical considerations there, but we're talking about making your siblings. Slightly less annoying. Imagine that, like, you hypnotize them <laughs> to wash the dishes and they wake up and they just, like, dart towards the kitchen, <laughs> wash as fast as they can. You're, you're like, like, yes, go, my precious. <laughs> Your parents look at like, have you? And you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it wasn't me. Nothing to do this. And I, I have to say, too, that this isn't going to work as a one off. So there will be a bit of discipline involved on your part. You're going to have to keep the pattern up. If it works on dogs, it's going to work, work in your siblings. <laughs> it's a long-term investment. <laughs> that's all I, I want to say. For big profits. Yeah. So that's how you reward their good behavior. Uh, this I, Here I stand, and on this hill, I will die. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's a good solution. <laughs> What's better than watching a great rom-com? He's the best. He's the bomb. It's Tom. Thank you for that. I'm not sure why we have the ukulele this episode. Yeah, I wrote that's that song one of the you. is that one of the annoying things you do yeah, as a yeah. sibling. <laughs> that's right. I can oh, I can definitely say that maybe I've played my guitar too loud sometimes. No, oh, could be an annoying sibling not. thing. When I was when you're learning, oh, a violin. I'm so glad none of my siblings <sighs> played the violin. Yeah, though. same, same. It's literally like the main reason why none of my kids play the violin as well. Nothing against people who play the violin. Like, like once you get good at it, it's, yeah. beautiful, it's gorgeous. <laughs> After the first eight years or so, it starts to get really good. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not solving that problem. <laughs> we're solving, the we're problem. solving annoying siblings. Annoying siblings. What's your solution? My solution. Okay. I have a quite a unique experience mm -hmm. um, having all of my siblings a bit older than me, mm -hmm. like 10 years older than me or so, you know? It's a unique it's a unique experience yeah. that you share with every single youngest in the family, uh, in the world, but sure. Yeah, yeah. But I, I had us, um, it, it's different again, like I feel the closer you are in age, the the more rivalry there is, right? Yeah, yeah, and true. the less like compassion. <laughs> says because, it as it is. Because the older sibling matures, you know, uh, but I think my solution that what I want to hone in on is finding that middle ground and accepting that you're not always going to be best friends with your sibling. It's okay to fight. It's okay to have differences. But my solution is to find what you have in common so that you can meet at that middle ground and try and have some enjoyable time together and and in the same way kind of use that to your benefit with your sibling. So if you're the older sibling, finding out what they like, but not, I'm not trying to manipulate them, <laughs> but genuinely enjoy things like that. So whether that is a sport that you guys can play together, you know, you hear lots of 
siblings that will, will play sports together or if it's a game, like um, I definitely know me and my brothers, no matter what you're fighting, no matter how angry you were at each other, if someone's like, hey, do you want to play a round of Call of Duty zombies? Everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do. Maybe it's food. Maybe you guys like a certain food together and you can eat together. Um, wow. Yeah. I think... Uh, but your solution is to like be nice. Yeah, it's to be nice. I'm genuine. You know, I've been joking a lot on the podcast, but this is a new era for me. I'm just in, in my positive, wholesome okay, era I've right now. Two questions. Yeah, who, who are you and what have you done with Tom? <laughs> where's, where's the Tom I know? This is like our annoying sibling relationship has gone to the point where I'm growing up. I'm leaving you behind and I'm just being a positive... <laughs> And happy person now. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm and like, I'm, your siblings are dog. Train them. <laughs> I'm and I'm done being your dog. I'm off. <laughs> was that, was that my bell? leash? Was that bell? <laughs> wow. Um, I'm trying to find holes in your uh, in your proposal, but I I can't. It's foolproof. It's just it's by the laws of physics. There has to be one thing you guys have in common. Yeah, but. But what if I don't want to be nice? Yeah, well, that's fine. That's that's the problem, though, is is we have to find a solution to annoying siblings. Mm. Oh, actually, no, no, no. And, and, and saying, it's all it's all about how you look at what's annoying. What does yeah, annoying that's mean? That's true. We're getting philosophical on me. Yeah. <laughs> First, you have to ask, what does what mean? What does sibling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I appreciate the fact that you're not just saying like be nice. You're proposing to find what you have in common. So it's a win-win situation. Yeah, 100%. It's not that you've got to give up your free time and your freedom to like try and just appease them. But it's something that you're going to enjoy as well. And so if it's a game, like you said, yeah. hey, you, you, both, you both win. Yeah, and you I think enjoy. naturally we do that as siblings, you know, like yeah. because there are definitely a lot of things that people enjoy together. And like you're saying with some of those stories where people had not gotten along and then they end up with great relationships. Yep. It's because once they mature, they realize that compromise has to be made. And obviously anyone that's an adult with other siblings, you know, like probably most people don't have much in common at all with their siblings. Once mm. you grow up, like even less so. Right. Um, and the thing that might draw people together, obviously is each other's family, parents that getting together and, um, the love, obviously, that you share. So I think the sooner, and obviously, like, you're not going to have much hope if you have, like, a three and a five-year-old and you're like, guys, just make up. Find out what you have in common and do it. <laughs> Play Call of Duty Zombies. Come on, kids. <laughs> what are you doing? So that, for younger kids, it might be a situation where, um, you know, parents can observe what they both like. Yeah. And make, and try and make the compromise for them. Like, I know um, my sister's kids, it's gotten to the stage now where the older one has grown out of the wiggles and yeah. the young one is loving the yeah. wiggles, you know? So it's like super <laughs> tricky. Yeah. It, he's gone from Coco Melon to the wiggles and she's gone from the wiggles to, I don't know, Peppa Pig, you know, like uh, Bluey, Bluey, Bluey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like that next yeah. slightly older sort yeah, of kid yeah. show. Mm -hmm. And so finding out what they both have in common, it's like, yeah, but there's shows that they both can yeah. watch. There's like games that they both enjoy. Uh, and then once it gets to, a, you know, kids get older, it's like, yeah, is there um, a sport or a video game mm. or or books that they both like to read, movies, you know? Tom, like, oh, Tom, you say you're not a parent, but I mean, when's this parenting podcast starting? <laughs> yes, it's me and my dog. I've been training my dog to oh, be a okay. human, so. <laughs> While I train my, like, <laughs> human to be a dog. To be the dog, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> Toby can talk. <laughs> Leave a comment if you guys know about Toby, if you guys are an OG oh, fan yes. or anything. That's right. We, we do love Toby. Well, I mean... It's a pretty simple it's, solution. I'm, it's uh, a great solution. I, I'm not saying it should win because, you know, it's probably not as inventive as yours. I th I th but I think this is kind of sometimes on the solve, guys. We just need a vanilla solution, which is basically just be nice and yep. try and... Be nice when you can so mm. that when things go bad, like you have more mutual understanding to fall back on, I think. So good. Yeah. And when I do think of boring vanilla, I do normally think of you, Tom. So <laughs> thanks for bringing that today. Was that racially motivated? <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Ming, was that? <laughs> that's, that's cut, cut, cut to the... Hey, Tom. 
Mm-hmm. On the topic of this episode, I just wanted to say, I've been thinking a lot about all the annoying things that you've done to me. And you forgive me? No, that's actually, that's actually all, all, all I wanted to say. Uh, oh, you've, yeah. been, you've been thinking about that. Um, okay. Yeah, but hey, before we find out who the winner is of today's episode, oh, thanks to yourself, bot 3000, I would like to challenge you to a duel. You might be wondering why there are so many triangles on the table. And that's because three by three Rubik's Cube, being there, done that, I've made it pretty clear uh, that I'm better than Tom. Hold on, let's just clarify. Uh, you never beat me at the three by three Rubik's Cube. I did. Only the one-handed uh, variant. One-handed. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're moving on. Like, you know, who cares about the past? We are go- going to go head-to-head in the pyramids. So choose your weapon. Choose any pyramids you want. I'm going with this gun because go. yeah, it feels nice. Sure, I'm going to use this. I don't know what this is. I think it's a maglev. It's some some Moyu maglev pyramids. Okay, am I going to be better than Tom at the pyraminx as well? Hang on, just really quickly trying to remember how to solve pyraminx. Yeah, okay, nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, no, that's not what I wanted to see. That is also not what, what? I wanted to see. What? Oh, mistakes were made! For Tom and, hang on, I'm going to play my car. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! No, 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 that's, that's no, no, that's no, no, a cheap no. Win. I, I like was about. I was on the last alg. Like he, he completely was six. <laughs> hey Tom, do you know what you got this week that you also did uh, in the last episode? A big fat L, my friend. Woo! There's no way I've lost after all of that. I've lost two <laughs> times in a row. Yeah, twice in a row. Team Ming, we're coming back. I'm just starting to feel bad for you now. They Weird. say lightning never strikes twice. Do they say that? Is that a thing? <laughs> they, I think they've been saying that. But sometimes, I just wanted to correct the record. Sometimes a stroke of luck can happen twice, but not three times. All right. Let's see how you go with Solvebot 3000, who's been listening carefully to this entire episode and is going to see say who gave the better solution when it comes to solving annoying siblings. Here we go. Hello guys of the Solve Variety. Good job with your solutions. Again, I pity you poor humans for having to deal with the weak and feeble co-offspring of your parents. But alas, only one of you can win, so here is my judgment. That's very aggressive. Ming suggests using principles of psychology to understand what motivates the sibling's behavior and using incentives to encourage good behavior or discourage bad behavior. Mm -hmm. This approach is both realistic and logical and is a creative way to manage conflicts and promote harmony Tom emphasizes the importance of spending quality time with siblings and finding common ground yep. to address the underlying desire for attention and connection. Mm-hmm. This promotes empathy, recognizing that many sibling conflicts stem from a lack of understanding yeah, and connection. However, only one solution was better wait, at wait, providing wait. a practical and systematic approach by using behavioral psychology principles. Oh. And that's why Ming is the winner of today's <laughs> episode. Congratulations. Oh. I've taken two L's in a row. Oh, yes. I'm, look, I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit surprised that she chose mine as well. Yours seemed much more nice. You know what, though? <laughs> no, no. I, that's what I was saying. Yours is a very, is a very tangible, systematic approach. Mine is like yeah, more yeah. Mine vanilla. Mine uses science. Yours just uses, I don't know, nice Heart, feelings. Hearts and love and feelings. <laughs> Ill. About Ill. The <laughs> but I just want to I just want to say on the record, mm. you know what? I lost. I took an L. And I took a second L. Uh, and you know what happens when you put two L's together? <laughs> next week, I'm coming back for the W, baby. Next week, <laughs> tune in. Next week on The Solve, guys. Tom is bringing it home. I'm winning. <laughs> so we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Tom, I really like your good attitude. Um, I've got a lolly around somewhere. Oh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> as, as a reminder, you've got one more week to submit your solutions to the problem of climate change. We yep. said two weeks ago that we're going to do a special episode. In just a few more weeks, well, we're going to go through some of your solutions. We'll probably we've be getting quite a few. So, you know, we've been listening to them all. We won't be able to feature them all. But if you want a chance to show up yourself on a Solve Guys episode, give us a 30 second solution to the problem of climate change. And who knows, we might pick yours. Yeah, Otherwise, we'll be reviewing them all, yep. picking our favorites, uh, and you guys get a chance to be the solve guys. So, mm-hmm. yeah, super well, exciting. Otherwise, yeah. You are welcome for, uh, you know, never having to deal with annoying siblings ever again. <laughs> 
Thanks for listening to this episode. Continue to tell your friends and family about it, even that annoying sibling of yours. But yeah, otherwise- they can, Maybe this <laughs> Solve Guys episode can be the thing you two bond over. This is the yeah, middle ground. This is the one. Is just great entertainment, so. Where's, where's, where's the ukulele? In conclusion, we would we would very much like to say- Thank you for watching. And the problem is so, so